Hi everyone, welcome to Pros of Eden. Thank you for joining me for day 10 of 31 days of praying marriage restoration prayers. Today I've been led to talk to you about his attraction. Is your husband still attracted to you? We're gonna pray that he has eyes for you, fresh eyes, a new renewed love for you. But ladies, I wanna to talk to you about how you keep yourself up. Because a lot of times we get comfortable and the bonnet starts coming out and it's not even 6 p.m., right? We're not even getting ready for bed. And so we wanna talk about how we clothe ourselves because I know that some people out here are holier than the Holy Ghost. And you forgot how to be a woman. You forgot how to be feminine, right? And it doesn't mean that you have to look like Jezebel, but come on, ladies, you do have to step your game up. Men are visual creatures. The same way you've got him, you got to learn to keep him. So you have to learn how to adorn yourself. You have to know how to dress yourself in a way that will capture his eyes. Because if you don't learn to capture your husband's eyes, well, Jezebel will do. Who is, you know, dressed maybe not impeccable, but she knows how to get a man's attention. You know, sometimes women, especially in the church, they get so holy. They get so self-sanctified and righteous that they forget to get dolled up and they end up getting the sister act anointing, you know, that Whoopi Goldberg anointing, where you end up just looking like, you just, you know, I, I, I'm not trying to be funny, ladies, but we have to learn how to still dress in a way that is, you know, beautiful, captivating, alluring, and you can do that without, you know, uh, looking like a prostitute, right? There's a way to dress in a way that captures respect. There's a way to dress in a way that still gets his attention. And I'm not saying you have to, um, I don't know. You know, here's the thing. So many people, if they see shoulder out, they're like, Jezebel. If they see a little leg out, oh, you're going to be a stumbling block for somebody. If that's a stumbling block, you need to go back into the secret place and you need to work on you because you cannot continue to blame people for your own lust, projecting your own lust on other people. And I just, you know, it's, it's so sad that you see women who have forgotten to um, care for themselves and, and forgotten how to, you know, switch it up. You know, your husband, you know, don't for, don't be afraid to change your hairstyle. You know, polish yourself up, put a little powder on, a little lip gloss on. You ain't got to do it all up, but something, men are visual. You don't want to come out of your house looking like Mother Teresa, right? And wonder why he don't give you a second look. I know you're holy. I know you're sanctified, you know, but some of us take it too far are trying to be self-righteous and now we have not even garnered the favor or the attention of our husband you know Esther Queen Esther she was beautiful you know those women went through 12 months of perfume and treatment she was not dressed like a vagabond she was not dressed like you know uh, Mother Teresa but she knew how to put on her royal garments and I'm going to show that even in Proverbs 31 this was a woman who knew how to care not only for her family but keep herself presentable and beautiful. The Bible says in Proverbs 31 verse 22 that, let's go back, she makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. She is not out here, you know, dressed in rags. She is dressed in fine linen. It costs her a little bit of money for her clothes, right? To, you know, to be, you know, beautiful and, and and well made and of quality fine linen okay and purple and so and then it goes on to say that her husband is respected at the gate so you know how we present ourselves to the community how we present ourselves to the world you all we are our husband's glory how are you bringing glory not only to the name of the father but to your own husband when people see you they, they see a virtuous woman and um, that's not just from the inside out, but that's also how we present ourselves to the world. So, you know, even when you go to bed, ladies, when it's time to go to bed, put on something nice. Don't put on t-shirts all the way down to your ankle and then wonder why you can't even catch. <sighs> y'all, do you get where I'm going? All right, so I just wanted to talk to you all about that as far as keeping ourselves up, keeping ourselves beautiful, keeping ourselves adorned. Um, and not just letting yourself go because you've been married for a while and you've got him and you figure, hey, I don't have to do anything else to 
keep him, right? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Keep yourself up, ladies. All right, so let's pray. Father God, I thank you for this day, and I thank you again for all of those who you have brought to watch and, and pray and to uh, be blessed by these videos. Father God, I pray that we would be able to keep ourselves adored in a beautiful way that not only really glorifies God, but also it brings glory to our husband, that they're proud to be associated with us. They're proud that they put a ring on our finger. They're proud to be married to us. And Lord, that we present ourselves in a way that knows how to capture our husband's attention, Lord. If our husbands have gone astray and their eyes have grown dull, Lord, let them get renewed sight. Bring a freshness into our marriage. And Lord, teach us how to dress in a way that will capture our husband's attention. Teach us how to put ourselves together that will just make him look like, oh my gosh, what did you do today to take a notice to us, right? So Father God, we thank you. And we know that you will guide us and order our steps and everything, even in the littlest things of how we dress. Um, even bringing you into our bedroom to show us, Lord, how we honor our husband, even in intimacy, because that is the highest form of worship, Lord. So we're asking that you direct our steps in every way, in every capacity. Thank you, Lord, for this day that we will rejoice in it. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you. Amen. So, you know, that word is short today, you all, but I pray that it's a blessing. Remember, it's okay, guys. I know sometimes people, you know, they get very, I don't know, like they, you know, it's okay if you want to put a bond on your head and, I don't, and, and all of those things. But you all, you have, y'all, men are visual, visual creatures.